So as you can see, we got a good one today for the fretting hand, the left hand, or the right hand if you're a left-handed bass player, but I call this one the forearm blaster. You'll see why. So welcome to the channel, and I would love to know if this is your first time here. If it is, drop me a comment down below. While you're at it, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done that already. I'm Derek Bennett from Bass Nation Academy, and if you're looking to enhance your bass playing skills, this is the place to be. Okay, let's jump right into it. So as you guys can see in the beginning, this exercise comes from something that I was trying to create or make up just to get me used to playing a line that I couldn't get at first. It's made up of a minor arpeggio and a major arpeggio in its simplest form. So this exercise may seem lengthy and pretty difficult to learn, but it's really only one part to it. And then it moves up chromatically. So I'll show you the first part. So we're descending a minor seven arpeggio and then ascending a major seven arpeggio. Then the last note of this phrase is gonna be the first note that you started on. Okay, so that's a nice little phrase right there by itself. There's one more part to this exercise and all it is is just minor thirds moving up chromatically. Then you're just gonna move that up twice. Now you're on to the next exercise, a whole step away from where you started. That's literally the entire exercise. All you're doing is moving it up, doing the same exact pattern. So you're starting on A, the next one starts on B, the next one starts on C sharp. All right, now just call that little minor third thing a little filler, right? just to fill in the gap between those two. You can do this exercise in three, four, six, eight, uh, depending on how fast or how slow you wanna take it. You can cut it in half, you can do it double time. Uh, that's the beauty about this exercise. So once you get that together and just put those pieces together, you'll end up with something crazy. It sounded crazy in the beginning, but slow down, it just sounds kind of mediocre, right? I wanted to create something that had constant movement inside of it, and that causes the forearm to just be on fire. Like, when I got finished with this exercise, my hand and my arm was just ready to fall off. That's why I call it the forearm blaster. So you're moving constantly with your plucking hand, alternating those fingers, while at the same time, your fretting hand is making those jumps for those arpeggios, and just that consistent movement makes that forearms just catch on fire, right? You can start it and stop it wherever you like. That's like, like I said, that's the beauty of this exercise. It's mainly just uh, endurance, more of a, uh, a stamina type of exercise, more so than a, um, a melodic exercise, even though it is very melodic in its sound because we're going from a Phrygian arpeggio to a major seven arpeggio, which could be a Lydian arpeggio. So Lydian, uh, Phrygian, and then uh, C Lydian. So you can think about it that way too, but just broken down to a simplest form, minor seven arpeggio, descending, major seven arpeggio, ascending, right? And then you have that little filler. Also needless to say, if you guys been here for a while, you know that I like to descend all of these exercises too, so you can do the same variation and, and just bring it down. That little gap filler, you can move it down chromatically instead of moving it up chromatically. You can do it that way. You can ascend this exercise. You can do it tons of different ways. I've never even tried to do it that way. But you see what I mean. There's so many different uh, variations to this that you can do. Um, but anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. If you guys are interested in diving a little bit deeper in this, and I'm actually going to show a way that you can slap this whole exercise too. That's actually pretty cool. It's a little bit more advanced, but take it slow. You guys can get it over in the Bass Nation Academy. Link is going to be in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, like I said in the beginning, hit that red subscribe button and uh, make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. That's my tagline out. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.